Okay, so I got a new piece of test equipment. It's my spectrum analyzer. I just got uh, some FM channels dialed up on it. Um, some uh, SMA attenuators here. Uh, so this is the um, this is the Siglent. Um, Uh, SSA 321 plus uh, It's kind of kind of cool um, Yeah, so anyhow I put it right here um, I do not have it uh, So it's right by the window. So oh, I don't know if moisture is gonna get to it or not, but I'll put some um, I'll put it on some vinyl and put some vinyl up the top. It's got a built-in web server. Um, and I have a space over on my network uh, device here um, for it. Uh, so I basically put it on this port right here. But I need to get a cable from to go from, from that patch panel all the way over there to the other side of the room. I, uh, I could make one. But, you know, might want to just buy one. I don't know. Anyhow. Um, so, rearranged a few things uh, for the test equipment there. I have a, a RF signal uh, sweeping generator coming. A really super cheap thing. It looks pretty noisy to me as far as the floor is. It's like 60 bucks. So, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to test it out on this thing. Um, all I need is something to mix signals with. Uh, to put it on different carriers so um anyhow that is um that is the new piece of test equipment so i can't wait to uh dig into it it does have a um a built-in tracking generator that is enabled so if i go uh, System system information you'll see it's permanently enabled here. So um, you know, um, I do want to get the DMOD uh, portion of it that, where I can analyze um, the digital like BPSK carriers and different things like that. Uh, but you know, I don't have any projects to do that right now, so that can wait. Um, anyhow, uh, Siglent. Uh, I guess I'm a I guess I'm a Siglent person now. I've seen how it's got. This is the the um, Siglent Spectrum Analyzer. Then I've got the Siglent Four uh, Four Probe O Scope. That's the one gig of samples, 100 meg. Uh, yeah, I might go to 200 meg uh, because I have because. Some of the systems I'm looking at are 133 clocks, uh, so I don't know. Uh, this is good enough for now. Um, the power supply, the arbitrary function, uh, the waveform generator, and uh, a multimeter. Uh, so, so one, two, three, four, and five pieces of uh, Siglent. So uh, that's where I am. That's the new new play toy. So. Uh, so you know, I'll, I'll mess around with it. There's there's some things I want to learn. Uh, so um, some projects I want to do that I needed to take a look at because I have no I have no view up into the gigahertz and the S band um, uh, without this. I, I'm just guessing with power meters and things. So yeah, so this is much better. Um, so uh, uh, yeah, it'll be a long long time before I get anything else. So. Uh, I'll have, I'll have to get a different lab here because this thing is, um, this lab is, uh, of mine, this, this, um, you know, uh, amateur, um, hobbyist lab, which looks more than hobbyist. Uh, it's, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of busting out of the seams a little bit. So, um, um, so whenever I, I move, I'll get a bigger a uh, bigger lab to put all this stuff in. Anyhow, that's the, uh, for all those who cared, that's, this is the, uh, the spec A that I was looking at. You know, it's, it is, it's kind of cool because, you know, 
everything is touch screen too, you know. Um, so that's kind of cool too. I don't know. I um, I can't like I said when I get this hooked up to the uh, to the network, um, uh, and I I'll, I'll experiment with the web the um, web server that's built into this. Uh, find out uh, for the life of me I can't I can't understand any scenario in which you need a web server for a spectrum analyzer. Maybe if I was monitoring carriers and things like that, but I'm not doing that. This is this is just for hobbyists, I'm not sure I need that, but but it came with the the um, tracking generator. So it's a tracking generator. So I haven't I haven't really played with the tracking generator yet. So um, I'll probably terminate this thing. I, I don't have a terminator for this. I do have uh, this has a built-in load. I mean a, a DC block, um, but I do have. If I get in here. I do have. Um, uh, a DC block or uh, an additional one here. So, um, um, that's got a built in one. So, I don't know if I need this or not, but uh, I guess two won't. I don't know what it, I'll, I'll figure out what that does to the signal, but uh, it shouldn't do anything. So, um, uh, two is better than one, I guess. So, I'll have a DC, uh, another DC block. Anyhow, that's that's all I have um, for today. Uh, uh, sometime I'll I'll try to get some of my uh, projects out. Uh, I want to get back into some of uh, like I said, I haven't I haven't picked the Raspberry Pi Pico project up. I was doing with uh, a, a buddy of mine, I guess, uh, to uh, figure out. Um, there's some libraries in there that. That doesn't seem to run on the sys on the on the on the Pico. It only runs from this this. Uh, um, it only runs from this uh, computer here. Once I hook it up to that blue uh, cable, but it should it should be running right off that Pico. So I I don't know what's going on. I take a look at the Pico on the Pico device through Th Thani. It's all <clears throat> it's all in there. The libraries are all there. So I really don't know. I have to troubleshoot it. Uh, but once I get this running, I'll clear this all uh, out and I'll start building my uh, some of my computers. Um, uh, I've got a lot of the parts. Um, uh, so I'll, I'll start doing that. Okay.